Maybe you were using your calculator and got an answer that said it was e to the negative something, right? And you're like, what does the e mean? On today's episode of What's to Deal With, we're going to discuss. Let's start by taking the problem 1 divided by 1,561. Go ahead and put that into your calculator and let's see what it spits out. So I get 6.46. 0, 6, and it keeps on going, but then I get this weird little e, and then I've got this negative 4. So let's talk about what that means. Think back for a moment to scientific versus standard notation. You were probably exposed to it sometime in the junior high area, if not in a science class later in high school. If I'm thinking about this, this is really just the same as saying 6.4606, and again, there were more numbers to that, right? Times 10 to the negative fourth power. Now, you can put that into your calculator and you'll see what's gonna happen. Because we're multiplying by a negative exponent, it's the same as dividing, and really, Think back to your algebra. This is equivalent to saying 6.4606 times 1 over 10 to the fourth power. Remember, we can make this for a positive by putting it in the denominator. So think of it as I'm dividing by 10,000. Really what I'm doing is I'm gonna move the decimal four places to the left. That's the trick, right? And again, I could divide that out on my calculator, but I can think of this as, one, two, three, four. And I know that this is the same as saying that decimal. That's what that E on your calculator means. It means that this is a really small number. Now, this could also be a positive exponent, and that would mean it's a really large number. Your calculator is trying to give you a hint, hey, this is a super small number, or this is a really big number. That's why we use scientific notation, so that we don't have to write all these zeros and keep on going. So to recap, when we see this e to the negative four in our calculator, it's telling us that the decimal is moving to the left and it's a very small number. You can see I've moved it over four spaces to the left so that I can see that this is the same as this decimal right here. Again, it could also be positive. That would mean that it's being multiplied times a larger number, which would mean the decimal would be moving to the right. I hope you now understand what's the deal with the e on your calculator and know how to interpret those answers.